welcome. Um, this is uh, our video blog from, from Coaching House, and, and I have, I'm actually here with, with David Clutterbuck, who is visiting Finland at the moment. We were just actually running a training module in our systemic business coach training. And a um, few words about you, I guess, that you, uh, first I should mention that, that you're a visiting professor from Oxford and Sheffield. And of course you have written 55 books, that, that, that tells quite a lot about your life and, and long experience. Just to go through a few uh, insights and ideas that, that how you, uh, do you see actually the, the field of coaching and, and the things that are going actually on in, in organizations in, nowadays. Um, there is a lot of, lot of fuss about uh, uh, and a lot of talk about uh, and, and around uh, coaching culture and coaching leadership culture. Why is it, in your opinion, important for companies to go into that direction with the culture? There seem to me to be two main reasons. The first reason is that the, there's a lot of evidence now to, to, to indicate that having a coaching culture, particularly at the top, is closely associated with the performance of the business. Mm -hmm. So you know, if you want to have a, bit, a business that, that performs well, where the leadership team performs well in particular, then you need to have a coaching set of behaviours, particularly at the top, yeah. and then all the way through the organisation. Yeah. And the second re reason is that organisations are having to react faster and faster to change. Yeah. Um, we've seen lots of companies go go get, get, go go to get into difficulties. We've seen them go bust. Um, a lot of the reason is that is, is is that things that are moving both internally and externally too fast for them to respond to. Mm -hmm. If you want to be an agile organisation, you have to have the ability to have conversations, learning conversations all the time, and that means that you need to have coaching going on because that's the most effective way of having those learning co co conversations. Yeah, very good. Yeah, big transformations and, and, and big change programs and, and, and going on, and actually many of those are simultaneously going on. In, in yeah, and coaching means that they yeah. can happen in a, in, a, in a complex systemic way rather than in a linear way. So you yeah. can have lots of, yeah. lots of change happening at the same pace as changing happening outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how, what do you think about the real-life experience? Because in my experience, at least, uh, do you... You, it's not so often you actually face and, 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 and see companies or organizations that have succeeded actually in, on a wider scale, scale that they have actually a coaching culture and the mindset is, is widely spread in the organization. Why is it that we, we so hardly? Yeah. I think part, part, of, part of it is that organizations have such rigid structures and systems it's quite difficult to break those yeah. down. Now, what we're seeing, where the successes are coming, and not for people launching great big programs, sending all their managers off to off on training and then hoping that something will happen. Where it's, where it's actually making change happen is where you've got the combination of good role models at the top, support for people throughout the organisation in doing effective coaching, and focusing the change process uh, towards the coaching culture inside the work team. Mm -hmm. Where you've got intact work teams where there's the psychological safety be able to challenge each other, to be able to coach each other, and including the team coaching the line manager, then you start to see really positive change happening in those teams, and those teams infect others. And that's where we're seeing the real change in large organizations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the, yeah, complex systems and, and, and very much different things going on, so, so it's, it's important. Yeah. Um, uh, how do you then? Um, if you have a look at that, the qualities of a good co coach and you reflect that to, to the, what you just mentioned, so how do you recognize a really good coach yes. nowadays? Well, what, <laughs> Is it possible? Some of, the, some of the things that make a really good coach are, are, are quite obvious when you think about them, but may not be in, in, until you think about them. And the first quality that I find that any coach needs to have is humility. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that may not be the most obvious one, but, but actually it's not the knowledge that you have, it's not the communication mm -hmm. skills you have, it's the humility and, the, and therefore the ability to truly listen to somebody else. Mm -hmm. um, and good coaches you know, spend very little time talking, they spend a lot of time listening and encouraging the other person to think for themselves and to, to think, things, think things through. And so this humility is the first, is the first yeah. thing. The second element that makes a really good coach is reflection. The ability to reflect on how they coach, the reflection on who they are, and to, and to integrate mm -hmm. the coaching that they do with the person that they are. Yeah, yeah. So it's not only about the tool set, it's, it's about yeah. how you actually think and how you are a human being. 
Yeah. Yeah, if the tools the are just there, they're yeah. helpful, yeah. But then but it's the core of the conversation that's important. Yeah, yeah. very good. Yes. Um, and about the direction and future of coaching, so how do you see the field of coaching at, that, at the moment? Well, what we're seeing is, is much greater emphasis on coaching using people inside the organisation as opposed to outside the organisation. There's a place for both, yeah. but now, now we're seeing organisations integrating the two things. Yeah. So the external support the internals in, in making co coaching happen. We're seeing a lot more team coaching as well. So people helping the entire, to coaching the entire team rather than just individuals. And this is because what we're looking at is, is coaching is a systemic yeah. thing. You cannot coach an individual as successfully as you can coach a system. So when we're coaching the individual, we are really, if we're being effective, coaching the environment around them because yeah. that's where real change happens. Yeah, really true. Yeah, yeah true. And that's what, what, that's what it is actually our core and, and, and our focus in, in coaching house, house trainings when we, we are actually coaching tra coaches, so training coaches. So I'm... Um, if you want to read more about David, so you can find actually the link to David's web, web pages from coachinghouse.fi, uh, from our uh, our our team section, and then of course in Finnish from Joukkuemme Osio. And, and you are actually visiting Helsinki and, 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 and doing an, an, a seminar around these topics, 18th of October. So for your information, if you're interested to learn about more about David's wide experience, so that's possible in, in October. We warmly well, thank you, and um, it was nice to, to talk to you and, 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 yeah, and, yeah, and, and learn from you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye now.